Hello, my captain, and welcome now to Tuesday. Thank you for logging in. Partly cloudy, introverted, hyper aware of your space today. The moon in Gemini bringing emotional consciousness to your space. This is your reality. So you're very emotionally sensitive to your body and what your soul body is telling you. So pay attention to your soul body. If your body is not healthy, your soul body is not healthy, could make you emotional. If you have a lot of emotional drama in your life, could make your soul body unhappy. You've got to really unite these. This is the best day for cardio and uniting the mind, body, and spirit into one awareness, okay? And you are aware of all of your space emotionally. So if you're working at your cubicle, just doing your job, and Susie, two cubicles over, is crying, you might feel that today. You really might feel that, and it might annoy you or trigger you, or you might be annoyed and not even know why, and not even realize that you are empathic today because you're picking up two cubicles down. It happens. A lot of people just don't pay attention to how empathic and psychic they really are. We're all super psychic. We just don't pay attention. We constantly blame ourselves. My silly imagination, it's your psychic side. Zip of the sun. We're in chapter one of Sun and Scorpio. We've now switched topics this month. The Capricorns are working on your contextual consciousness, a.k.a. your society, your sphere of influence. And today, Jupiter rules the day, which means today is a day of exploring. It's time to assess. Where are you when it comes to your reputation? Where are you when it comes to your marketing plan? Where are you when it comes to your friendships? Does your society represent your soul? That's the real question. That's what we're working on, exploring this. And I want to pose another thing to you, Venus retrograde. Venus retrograde, coming onto the sun now, the two are going to conjunct and cross each other. Venus retrograde asks you the question, how much does your self-love play into your campaigns in society? Are you running for Congress because you love yourself? Are you friends with that person because you love yourself? Are you a steel worker over being a secretary because you love yourself? How much does loving yourself play into the decisions you make out in society? And if the answer is none, whoa, you get an F on this whole reality thing, okay? Loving yourself is the key to everything and everywhere in life. It's what God consciousness is. So you must base every conscious decision in the world, especially right now, on how much you love yourself. That's the only reason you would even bother in society is because you love yourself, all right? And it is time. P.S. The last time Venus was retrograde in Scorpio was the fall of 2002. So play back and think what you're doing in the fall of 2002. The universe was saying, please readjust your society once again based on how you love yourself. And it's Tuesday. We've got a new episode of Just Ask Us going live today with Lauren Serafin, our practical comedic advice, and Angelo Eros, one of the best intuitives on the planet. They come together answering your questions in a fun and zany way. Don't miss it. It's live everywhere. Soul Garden Streams. Okay, Captain, that's all I have for Tuesday. Tomorrow, our first breakdown in the season. All that tomorrow. Live, love, be. So